Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Color Me Badland, back with part two of celebrity fragrances that I just don't wear. But before we get into the fragrances that I pulled from my fragrance collection that I just don't wear, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time ever meeting me, again, I am Color Me Badland. Just to give you a brief scenario of who I am and what we do over here on my channel, I am a beauty professional, a licensed cosmetologist, among many, many other things. Don't you want to know? Uh, we collect fragrances. We talk about those fragrances we collect. We talk about the fragrances that are on our wish list. We talk about all things beauty. Natural skincare, makeup, uh, natural hair, weave wigs, love, romance, relationships, dating, family issues, and faith. All right? And anything else that I forgot to mention, we talk about that too. Well, we're going to get into it. Don't worry. Dear Color Me is locked and loaded. All right. So there are fragrances in my collection. And I'm sure if you're a huge fragrance collector, um, you have fragrances in your collection that you just don't wear. They're either sitting in collected dust or they were gifted to you and you don't like using them because they have sentimental value to them or you don't wear them because you just don't care for them. Right. Well, these are fragrances that I like. Some of them I love. I just don't wear them. Why, you may ask? Mm hmm But let's get into it. The first fragrance that I want to share is from uh, one of my favorite celebrity fragrance uh, lineups. Um, this particular celebrity, all of the fragrances that she has, that she's ever come out with, I have absolutely fallen in love with. And it's really funny because... Um, one of my mother's favorite fragrances comes from this particular celebrity and growing up it's not that I dislike the fragrance it's just like I knew I could never wear it because that was her scent her fragrance her juice right but I absolutely have fallen in love with the different fragrances that are in this celebrities lineup but one of them that I have in my collection that comes from her I guess you're wondering who I'm talking about it's Elizabeth Taylor you should have guessed that by now um, it's called forever. I never actually wear this fragrance. I don't know how this ended up in my collection um, It's actually mine. It didn't belong to anyone else. It was mine um, But I don't know how this ended up in my collection and why I never wear her. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit closer um, You can kind of see some of the juices missing. I've worn it before But when and where and whether or not I liked it and how long it lasts I can't I have no idea again this is a fragrance from elizabeth taylor called forever and it smells really good i think originally i got this and added this to my collection it's been in my collection for a while um probably because i love the notes that's in it um it's a really creamy scent it kind of reminds you of um uh, old like uh the creamy like a creamy version of gloria vanderbilt's original uh fragrance um, my grandmother, my dad's mother used to wear Gloria Vanderbilt. So I will always remember that scent. And this kind of reminds me of that. It's like a newer version of that. Um, it's a little bit creamier. Um, it's a little bit more of a white florally note. Um, and more of a modern scent than the original Gloria Vanderbilt. But if you know what I'm talking about, um, that is what this reminds me of. It also kind of gives me the, rem the remnants of... Um, Splendor by Elizabeth Arden. If you guys remember that fragrance or you still have that in your collection, that's one of my favorites too. I just really can't wear that fragrance. Um, it gives me a horrible, horrible migraine headache. I don't know why, but it's such a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. And that's what this reminds me of also, but just a little bit softer, smoother, and creamier. So again, my first fragrance on my list of celebrity fragrances that I just don't wear is forever by elizabeth taylor gorgeous gorgeous fragrance and i love the bottle you see how the when the light hits it you see that iridescent opalescent color popping on the bottle absolutely gorgeous and you know it smells really good too it really does okay so the next fragrance on my list of celebrity fragrances that i just don't wear this one is a britney spears fragrance i don't know which one this is um but i love all of these that come inside of this line uh i really really do they're beautiful scents i just never really reach for this particular bottle and spray it out um this is not something i would give away to anyone though 
because it is a really really beautiful set it's really really pretty um it's really fruity um it's it's a little bit synthetic -y when you first spray it out um but it's just a really really pretty sexy pop culture type of a scent it reminds you of like a, a teeny bopper on the verge of like you're like 1920 uh you know no no older than 25 kind of fragrance you're grown but you're not grown all the way just yet that's what this reminds me of it's really really pretty um it lasts for a really long time i know for sure that i've worn this before and it lasts for about four plus hours really really pretty scent if you're looking for something really fruity um with a floral note in it it's got a really nice citrus note to it but it's not overpowering this is a really good scent and i can't remember which one this is but this is definitely a britney spirits fragrance and i love it i just don't wear it all right next on the list of fragrances that i don't wear celebrity fragrances this one is a kim kardashian kkw and it's got a grease or lotion on it so something i got on here when i was moving my fragrances around so you have to excuse the dust on this one this one has been sitting all winter probably and when i moved it i didn't dust it too much but this one is honey guys and this is a good one this is a really good one it's really good for layering this is super super heavy so this is one that even though it's heavy um and i normally would wear this in the summertime i wouldn't dare <laughs> it's real heavy and it's really really heavy on the honey note but it really has a good scent to it um when you first spray out it's like whoa what happened but then once it dies down especially if you layer this with something um this is a really really pretty scent um it was surprising for me um when i added this to my collection um i probably paid less than 10 bucks for this fragrance i'm gonna be honest with you um uh, but it's something about this that i really really like if you over spray this you will get a headache it's that loud but once it calms down after like 15 or 20 minutes, it turns into this really soft, sweet honey scent. Just pure honey. And I just really like this. I don't think I'd ever give it away to anyone or anything like that. This is really nice for a really nice, cozy winter night in. Really nice bedtime scent if you just want to wear it all by itself. Um, I did layer this with my Jazz Club by Replica once. And it was really, really nice. Really, really nice. So this is definitely a nice layering component. But I don't wear this. It's just one of those celebrity fragrances that I just don't wear. But let me show you what I really love about this bottle. I love this detail. That is so gorgeous. So that's what will make me always keep this even if I don't wear it. I love that. All right. Moving on to the next one. Since we're on Kim Kardashian's kick. Um, I have another one in her... Um, from her house of fragrances and this is before i think she started doing the the kkw fragrances because this one just has her whole name on it this is true reflection by kim kardashian all right same bottle i just took the top off of it because i want to smell it um this is really dark really deep really sensuous if you don't like patchouli you're not gonna like this this is super dark super super dark some people may call this dingy it's that dark um i love these types of fragrances actually this smells really good with the honey um and i think that's when they created these they created these to wear by themselves and to layer them together this is a really really nice layering component so if you do have um both of these this is a really really nice layering component these two together really really nice i mean really nice together so, yeah, you know, I might wear these together and see what we come up with tonight and see, you know, for a nice bedtime scent. Like I said, I like to wear things at night or when I'm taking a nap. And then that way I know exactly how well they work. This smell, they smell good together, guys. So, again, that's another um, celebrity fragrance that I just don't wear. We're down to two. The next one that I don't wear is by, I think this is Antonio Banderas. <laughs> And this one is called Desire, Her Secret Desire. All right, I don't, I don't wear this at all. Let me see what it smells like. I haven't smelled it in a while. I don't know. Let me see. Let me see what's going on. From what I remember, this smells really good. I think I had a client that sent this to me, like during the pandemic or something like that. 
they were trying to get me to come cut their hair. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, this is so good. This is good. So it starts off really, uh, really, really, um, really, really synthetic -y, Okay? Really synthetic -y. But it turns into something kind of sweet, tart-ish. So it's got a little bit of like a cherry, strawberry kind of bittery note in it. And I think that's probably why it's got like a little almondy note going on in there. And then I remember once this dries down, it turns into something kind of creamy. And so this is a delightful fragrance. It starts off kind of weird on me. So that's probably why I don't wear it. I don't reach for it. Um, but it's definitely nice for like a bedtime scent. Or if like if you want to spray down your sheets and decorative pillows and things like that. Then this is something you could use. And this is Her Secret Desire by Antonio Banderas. Yeah, I, I don't wear this one. It's okay, but I'm not really good on my juicy berries and tart fragrances. Once they, if it's a little tart, I can't, it doesn't work well for me. Then my last fragrance from my list of celebrity fragrances that I just don't wear is Thank You Next. And I think this is the 2.0 by Ariana Grande. I don't wear this. And you know, I love Ariana Grande. You know, you take it out of the little... But I love her fragrances. And this smells so good. I don't even know where I can spray this at. Let's spray it right here. Let's spray it. But I don't wear this. And I think it's because these are the types of fragrances that I wear in the winter time. This is probably given to me during the winter time as a gift or something. I can't remember. It's really good though. This actually um, is kind of like cloud but fruitier. Basically is what this is. In my opinion. And that's probably why I don't really wear it all that much. Because it's so similar to Cloud. The original Cloud. It's like a cloud with extra fruit and berries in it. It's what it smells like to me. It's really good though. Um, I would definitely rock this in the wintertime. Not the summertime. Probably fall when it starts to get a little bit cooler. Um, is when I will wear this. But it's really cute. It's got a really nice kind of creamy, marshmallowy, burnt sugary type of a scent to it. It's just something that I never really reach for. Um, but it's definitely a delightful fragrance. I have used a little bit out of it because, you know, I spray, I spray heavy when I do try fragrances on to see whether or not I like them. It's good. It's just a little bit too fruity for my taste. But I promise you, this smells like cloud sherbet is exactly what this smells like so it's really really good so if you like cloud and you love a really sweet fruity uh fragrance and you don't have this in your collection you would love this because it's like cloud but fruity it's exactly what this smells like so out of all of the ones that i don't wear on this list today this is my this is my favorite this actually smells really really good okay you know i love ariana grande's fragrances i really really do so that's all on the list i think yep we went through the list on part two of celebrity fragrances that I just don't wear not that I don't like them uh, some of them were gifted to me like probably all of them were some of them have been my collection for so long I can't even remember where I got them from or how long I've had them or what the case may be um, but they're just fragrances that I just don't reach for uh, normally I reach for fragrances by inspiration so I'll walk around and I'll go hmm, I wonder what this smells like today or to just come up in my spirit what fragrance I want to wear for the day you know what i mean and those are just ones that i really don't touch uh and so comment below if you collect fragrances and you have fragrances that you just never touch not because you don't like them you just don't touch them it's because of who gave it to you it's because it was super expensive and you don't want to run out of it or it's just something you just don't care for so make sure you mention down in the comments below don't be shy talk to me chat it up with me also you can reach me uh through email you can send dear color me messages notes and questions both of my email addresses are inside of my youtube channel they both go to the same place so ask away we are now also on instagram uh, so make sure you meet me over on instagram if you send me a request i will follow you back we'll confirm and follow you back i do not answer dms so if you shoot me a dm i'm i probably won't answer you back all right so no 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 harm no file i just don't answer dms back uh yeah but definitely send me a request so we can get to know each other and we can have fun especially if you collect fragrances because that's all we're talking about fragrances 
beauty and a little bit of our love all right so hope to see you over on instagram thank you guys for watching uh what's up and shout out to all of my new subscribers hey and thank you to all of my subscribers that have been hanging tough with me thank you i greatly appreciate your love and your support make sure if you like this video and any other video that you gain an opportunity to watch on my channel hit that like button make sure you hit that notification bell so that each and every time i upload a video onto youtube you will be notified and if you can't watch it right away you can save it for later and last but not least if you haven't already subscribed make sure you hit that subscription button tell a friend share my video i greatly appreciate it in advance we love you god bless you peace Oh, happy first day of summer, guys. Woohoo!